Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on basically how to get a refund if you're not within the limits of the refund policy. That means that you have played either for more than two hours or that you have owned the game for more than 14 days or two weeks in short. So what do you do? What can you do realistically? Actually, it turns out that lots of people get refund anyway. So one really good way, if you don't have access to refund button anymore on Steam, is to go to Steam support or just Google Steam help and then click on Steam support, which is the first link. Um, then you have two options. You can go to the game that you know you want to refund. In my case, is Cyber Hunt. Uh, and then there will be an option for another submission of the refund. Uh, if, if that option is obviously not available, you can uh, go to the last resort, which is going to the purchases right here. And then go to either I can't complete my purchase on the Steam store or I have charges from Steam that I didn't make. I'll go for the third one because this is, this is what more relates to my issue. And then I'll go and click on contact Steam support. Now in this, ca this case, I'll just fill in all the, uh, basically all the details. And down here, I'll write that for example, I've bought the game, um, like, let's say, 15 days ago. Um, so obviously, it's not within the policy. I've played the game for three hours and a half. But the thing is, I was trying to make the game work. And it kind of didn't work. So there were issues with the game and so on. And most likely, upon reviewing it, they will give you a refund. So as you can see, there is another video that I have posted. And it will appear on your right side is basically how to get a refund normally and under comments you will be able to see lots of people that, that are refunded like a couple of days that are, that are obviously outside the policy limits or if they play the game for like 11 hours and they still get refunded anyways. So don't give up on your refunds, just resubmit your application over and over again and just pray that you're gonna get a reviewer that's going to accept your refund eventually. So with that being said, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, well, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.